Hello and welcome back. It is indeed time for another Wi-Fi battle and it's myself going up against the subscriber this time. It's Joe who's bringing along something quite interesting. I'm bringing Mono Bug and he's bringing Mono Electric, so this should be pretty damn interesting. So, looking at his team, I mean, it's obvious, Calvantula is there, I run one myself, so I know exactly what this thing's going to do. It's going to come in, it's going to set up hazards, so I'm going to match that, I'm going to go in and set up my own hazards. It's going to be quite good, obviously it's only neutral damage with Stealth Rocks against um, a Mono Electric type team, but, you know, I think, alright, I'll just go for the knockoff, maybe he's going to... Uh, I can go for the knockoff. There's there's no pressure. This thing can't bring me down. It only knows Thunderbolt. It only knows Energy Ball. Um, T-Wave, maybe. That's not really an issue. So I can Rapid Spin. I can get rid of that. And uh, this is absolutely great. Because I get paralyzed. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Paralyzed from a static. I think that's 10% of a 10% chance or something. And this is a Surfing Raichu. And I'm like, holy crap. Um, you don't get to see that every day. So I decide, alright, it's enough time, I'm not going to get another opportunity to do anything else with this guy. Armaldo's about to go down and it's paralyzed anyway, but actually, no, I survive it. So he goes for the hidden power thinking maybe I'd swap into something else, and uh, no, it is not enough to bring down Armaldo, so I get an extra hit in, and that is absolutely great. So I have rocks up on the field, he does not have Sticky Web on my side of the field, but he still has that Galvantula hidden in the back. So I go into Pinsir. Because if I can get Pinsir on the field and safely get it set up, it has Earthquake. So it has Earthquake along with Return, Quick Attack, and Sword Stance on this one. So if I can safely get off one Sword Stance, I could be looking at sweeping through a team here with Earthquake. But I leave it as a basic Pinsir. Why, you ask? Because basic Pinsir has Mold Breaker, which means Mold Breaker can hit Levitating Pokemon because it ignores abilities. And that's why I was able to hit this Electros with super effective... Uh, super effective Earthquake. Pinsir is my go-to counter on a bug team for anyone using Rotoms or, as you can see, levitating Pokemon. But mainly for Rotom. The whole point of it is that you can hit Rotom Heat, super effective, and there's nothing you can do. And so, now we're in the Electivire, and I know this thing's bulky. I know they tend to carry Ice Punch. I don't know if they can carry Fire Punch as well. I don't really know, to be honest, what exactly this thing's going to throw at me because you don't get to see them very often. But I decide, screw it, I get the flinch. I'll go in with another Rock Slide that uh, doesn't get a flinch, but he is going to fire back with an Earthquake. Not really a problem because bugs resist ground typing. They resist ground and they resist fighting. So having a poison bug type on the field, it's it's alright. It's a neutral hit against a non-stab earthquake and Electivire isn't known for having the best attack stat in the world. So I do survive. I've got the Black Sludge recovery. I get two ticks of that. That brings me back up. I've got Speed Boost now working in my favor too. So I'm at plus two, I believe. Speed Boost. Now, it would be much, much better if this thing could learn Earthquake, but I don't believe it can. So I have Mega Horn, Poison Jab and Rock Slide to go for. There is the opportunity if I go for a rock slide that I could flinch him, but I could try to go for either of the other moves to try and get the stab, and so I reckon, you know what, I'll try to get a flinch. Nope. <laughs> no, sir, no luck. The hack gods are not on my side today. So I get taken down with a giant flamethrower from this thing. It's it's got a huge special attack, but I know it's got a very shallow move pool. So if I go into Heracross, I'm gonna be faster because this is my choice scarf moxie set, and Bam. No, actually, I don't think this is the Moxie one because it's not pink. This is my Guts Heracross. It's there for dealing with pranksters, things like, well, Thunder Wave, Spore, anything that's throwing out um, Will-O-Wisp. I can swap into my Heracross to take that and it gets doubled attack. I, I like to mix it up. Sometimes I go with Moxie, sometimes I go with the Guts if I'm in singles because you tend to find a little bit more hazards and things flying around. But, holy crap. I catch a heat wave to the face because apparently this thing is faster than a Genesect, who would have known? And uh, that kind of sucks because I kind of wanted my Genesect, but it means I'm freed up because I swapped out the Heracross, I'm back in, I've got a Stone Edge now. Stone Edge is going to outspeed and as long as it doesn't miss, thank goodness, Stone Miss hits and I even get the crit. I don't know if a crit really mattered. Um, if that thing outspeeds Genesect, it's possibly a max speed, max special attack one anyway and not a bulky variant. So. Uh, he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch, that's not really gonna do much, it's four times resisted by the bug fighting type. I'm still logged into Stone Edge, but I don't mind about that, because Stone Edge is gonna hit everything on his team for at least neutral damage. And there we go, so that's the victory, and uh, I absolutely loved it. It's not often you get to go up against another mono type, um, a mono team user, so thanks for that Joe. 
And if you would like to be featured on the channel, you can submit any replay codes you have in the comments down below. I'll have a look at them, record them, maybe put them up and have your team featured. And if you'd like to battle me or any of the other gym leaders over on the hideaway, there's a very simple process. You just go to our group files section. You can look through there for the team register post, register your team by following the rules, and I will see you then. All the best, folks. Bye-bye.